Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you needed to sum every other cell in a column or a row? During analyzing any data, managing finances, or simply organizing information, these techniques can be a game changer for you. In the end of the video, we will see a bonus tips, which you are really going to love. Hi, my name is Vijay, and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. Over here, I have got a data and about sum of alternate cells or alternate rows. So it's like east, west, again east, west, and so on. So we want cell of east over here and cells of west over here. Before inserting the formula, let's see one thing. Let's check the row numbers, whether they are in even or odd. So east is in odd row and west is in even rows. And we have to do sum of alternate cells. I'll click over here, means this is in odd and west is in even. I'll click over here and the formula will be plus or equal to sum product bracket open. We will select our data, comma, M O D means mod bracket open, row bracket open. We will select our range once again. We'll close the bracket, comma. Now we have to provide divisor. So we will put two over here. We'll close the bracket till it doesn't get black and we'll hit enter. We will take this in center. We'll remove the decimal places. So we got sum of east over here. Let's cross check this. I'll do it manually plus or equal to first sales plus second sales plus third sales plus fourth sales and I'll keep on selecting till end. Enter. And both the figures are same. Let's see the formula for even rows and the formula will be plus or equal to sum product bracket open RA. We will select our data comma n bracket open mod means mod bracket open row bracket open. We will select our range. We'll close the bracket comma divisor. We will type 2 over here, bracket close is equal to 0, we'll close the bracket till it doesn't get black and we'll hit enter. We'll take this in center, we'll remove the decimal places. And we got sum of waste also. Let's cross check and both the numbers are same. Let's see the second example. In the first example, we took all the cells in bottom, but in the second example, we will take the sum in right hand side and the formula will change. I'll click on east. Over here also, we will have to keep odd and even in mind. So this one is first. We'll drag this to right. Fill series. Over here, east is in even cells or even columns. And waste is in odd cells or odd columns. I'll delete this. And our formula will be plus or equal to sum product bracket open RA. We will select our data, comma, M bracket open, MOD mod bracket open, row bracket open, we will select our data once again. We'll close the bracket, comma, divisor. We will put 2 over here. We'll close the bracket is equal to 0. We'll close the bracket till it doesn't get black and we'll hit enter. We got value error over here. So why we got value error? We inserted the same formula in first example also. I'll click on my formula. We'll go to formula bar and over here we have inserted row. So I'll delete row from here and we'll put column, column bracket open and we'll hit enter and we got result of east we'll drag this down now we will do the sum of waste plus or equal to sum product bracket open we will select our data or range comma mod mod bracket open row bracket open we'll select our range we'll close the bracket comma divisor will be two we'll close the bracket twice or till it doesn't get black and we'll hit enter. We got value error because over here also we had inserted row instead of column. I'll delete row and we'll type column bracket open. Now I'll hit enter and we got sum of waste region. So while doing this, you will have to keep in mind even and odd numbers. Now we can delete this. So over here, all our figures were in alternate rows or columns. What will happen if the situation is totally different means it's not alternate. Let's see the third example. Over here, I have got my sales data and it's from 1st till 31st and the numbers are not in alternate rows. So can we insert the same formula over here also? No, the formula will totally change because in each day I have got bookings, retail and accessories. And in total also, I want bookings, retail and accessories. 
So let's see what will be our formula. Plus or equal to sum ifs bracket open will go on top and we select our data from very first date and we select till last day of the month. So this is our sum range comma. Now we have to provide criteria range. So our criteria will be these means we want sum against bookings, retail and accessories. We'll go on top and we'll select this criteria range comma criteria one. So criteria one is bookings. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Let's insert some figures over here. 10. I'll insert 10 over here also. So it got 20 and we'll insert 10 over here also in the bookings and we got 30. So can we drag the formula right now? No, because we haven't logged our cells. I'll delete the formula and we'll insert the formula once again. And this time we are going to lock our cells plus or equal to some ifs bracket open. We'll select our range. We'll press function F4 twice comma criteria range one. We will go on top and we'll select our criteria range. We'll press function F4 or F4 twice comma criteria one. So bookings is our criteria one. We will press function F4 three times. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got 30. Now let's drag this down. Let's put some figures over here. In retail, I'll put 20. Over here also, I'll put 20. So we got 40. And in the end, I'll put 20. Enter. And we got 60. So our formula is working perfectly. Let's put some figures in accessories also. 30. 30. And over here also, I'll put 30. Enter. So all our formulas are working very perfectly. Now we can drag this to right. Over here, we have got a list and we want to reverse the list. We want to reverse the names and designation. Let's take this over here. We'll copy the heads and we'll paste over here. The formula will be plus or equal to index bracket open RA. This is our RA. We'll press function F4 and we'll lock the cells comma count A bracket open. We'll select our range once again. We'll close the bracket till it doesn't get black and we'll hit enter. So we got James over here. Let's drag this down and see what result we are going to get. Over here, Albert was on top and James was at the bottom. And now in our list, James is on top and Albert is in the bottom. We'll put some borders over here. Same formula will be applied for designation also. Plus or equal to index bracket open. We'll select our RA. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged. Comma count A bracket open. We'll select our range once again. We'll close the bracket till it doesn't get black and we'll hit enter. We'll drag this down. So both the lists got reversed. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.